Hi guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to look into a scenario in which South Korea has a dream. And that's going to be basically, well, they dream about all the best things possible. What would Korea want and what do they get in their like, best dream? Case scenario, which couldn't happen, but what would they get? They quickly move into North Korea. China and Russia send supplies to the north, but quickly all the coast is taken in the border of Russia. And, well, they take out all of North Korea. They have done it. They've unified North Korea, but how long would it take for them to stabilize what they've taken? A long time. And they keep Kim Jong-un. Yep, exactly. This is crazy. Just kidding. That part is unrealistic, even in the best case scenario for him. He is somewhere in China, as we speak. No, not really. But in the scenario, yeah. And let's not forget about Japan's islands. Yep, yeah, Japan's islands. South Korea is like, Japan, this is revenge. And Japan's surprised, as why would they expect this? But South Korea is getting revenge on for the 1930s into 40s. And yeah. They quickly take the southern island, and then they take this island, and then they... Just kidding. But they quickly move into southern Japan. Well, as fast as you can move through, like, mountains. They move into the first plane with, like, millions of people. Because most people live in the flat areas of Japan, with them taking the coast. And why does Japan look like a banana? But anyways. And, well, Japan is... Fighting till the bitter end with South Korean naval dominance, air dominance, and land dominance. With Japan just watching it, and Russia watches it in horror. Would they annex all of Japan? No way. Because, well, why would you? That'd be like if we said, oh, they annexed all of Russia. Yay! There's more people in Japan than Russia. Probably not the best comparison. With them trying to decide on a border of one of those. But they decide on the less radical border just because if they make Japan too weak, there's no way they're going to have an ally. So they decide to make Japan an ally. Yep. They take half of Japan's land. But now they're like, oh, Japan, want to be our ally? Japan's like, no. And they're like, well, you made a bad decision with J with South Korea putting in the treaty. Puppet Japan. Yep, they puppeted Japan. And that's basically half annexing. You don't really have full control, but you have a lot of control. With them invading Taiwan, which was a bad idea. Very bad idea. China's like, why do you invade our land? They're like, it's not your land. China's like, yes, it is. And China declares war because China loses it. Along with, like, Hong Kong and whatever else China claims. Yep, every. Who, did, who expected China to invade? No one. Or did they? Who knows? Maybe they did. I don't know. Like, it is the past, so I don't know what your, what's going on in your present. Present that you're watching this video. That's... With all of North Korea falling, but South Korea gets the ideas from America of bring freedom north. Yep, the Operation Free Manchuko is underway. And why would they call it Free Manchuko? Because in Operation Free Manchuko, they land in the island of Hanan and move up from there. Confusing name. Deceptive. In Operation Tokyo Storm, they move into Manchuko. As now they've started a two front war officially. With them um, giving their idea free Manchuko, they want to annex Manchuko. With them um, nail landing here, with them having managed to take a big chunk of Chinese territory, except some of their fronts will obviously fail. Even though this is the best dream, well, the, 
I'm not making it like perfect, perfect for South Korea. There's also an invasion of Russia left, guys. I don't think they're invading really in the, the Philippines. You know, the thing is the Philippines is an ally. The Philippines isn't their enemy or has land they can grab easily. Because they're not the strongest nation still, and what's the point in making more conflict? When by the time they fight China and Russia, they'll be out of might. And plus, I did say it was like their dream, but anyway. As they move in and take Beijing in Operation Storm America. Yep, that's what they called the operation. And why are they invading China? Well, they don't like China. Obviously. Why they invade Japan? Because of Japan and WW2. Japan and WW2 was probably the worst nation. A bad guy, you could say. The even badder bad guy. But not having taken all of China's coast. With a revolt happening in Tibet, Xinjiang, and, well, as you can guess, Inner Mongolia. Hunan rises up, and then the people of China rise up. And let's see what this country now looks like. China and ready. They decide to do Operation Eat Japan. Yep, they eat Japan. Exactly. But when they were in China, as you can see, they took a bunch of pockets of land. That's because, well, they're strategic. This is like the, I think, the Yellow River in that area. This is the Shandong Shen Peninsula. But this being because it's close to Taiwan, makes straight, so China can't easily take it. And then that's there. But China has a coast four places. So, like, it makes it harder to manage their coastal territory. With Russia saying, well, with the outbreak of the Russo-South Korean War. And this is the biggest war yet. With Russia moving their entire Baltic fleet, Black Sea fleets being sunk to the ground. Russia's people is angry. And somehow their Pacific fleet also gets synced. And like they have nothing left. And as they're trying to get their troops over, a quick offensive is made to capture as much Russian Siberian territory as possible. And by that, they are still advancing. Russian troops arrive and they make a huge pushback. Even in a dream, Russia's Still Russia. With Russia deciding to move back into Kamchatka. But little did they know that was only offensive one. With Mongolian and Kazakh support, South Korea launches an attack right down Russia's border. And this is an embarrassment. As they move up these borders. Yep, they're moving up the borders because everybody's supporting them. So many people are supporting South Korea. Russia stands. No chance. And Russia knows this as a Russian leader is hiding and disappears. Oh, wait. Moscow already fell. Oof. With Russia falling faster than Russia should. Let's see what happens to Russia. It completely fell apart. As if that's realistic. But let's say it did. Because why wouldn't it fall completely apart? Ain't that right, guys? And China heads into civil war, it appears. Let's see what happened. This is what happened to South Korea was dreaming. And then they wake up and they have no land. As you can see. Oh, yeah. No, back to normal. But anyways, that's all for today's video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Wild Mapper out! But not until you subscribe.